Welcome back. The global pandemic has upended our way of life, including quintessential rites of passage. Thousands of graduating college students, high school students, and college students won't get the honor of walking across the stage in commencement ceremonies. And those still pursuing their degrees, like most of us living through a pandemic, are unsure of what's next. Joining us now, the president of Florida International University, Mark Rosenberg. Thank you so much for being with us here today. Uh, we know that. Thank you. The university held its first virtual graduation today. What was your message to the graduating class in these really difficult times? Uh, my message is to show gratitude uh, to families and loved ones for the milestone achievement, to celebrate that milestone achievement, uh, to be strong as you go forward because our students have gotten a world-class education here at FIU so they can have confidence that they're gonna be successful. Uh, President Rosenberg, so great talking to you. I wanna ask you Thank about you. the issue of college tuition. There have been lawsuits filed by students around the country. Many students saying, this is not what I signed up for, online courses, that's not what I'm paying for. How is FIU handling this situation? Uh, FIU is a very community-centered uh, university. The most important thing is that we are providing an incredible education at a very reasonable price. Our students are concerned about fees that are being charged for services that they, they do not believe are being delivered. And as a consequence, we have made the decision to lower our transportation parking fee because we're not parking uh, vehicles. Uh, we we want to hold the cost down just as much as anybody because we know that most of our students work, most of our students support their families, and we want to be a part of their success. So we're paying very close attention to that issue. And President Rosenberg, thinking about what the fall semester could look like, do you think it'll force university like yours to not only reform teaching models, but also change the way you do business long term? Oh, Francis, there, there's no question about the notion that change is in the air. I'm really proud of the fact that we converted in a very short period of time uh, nearly 5,000 courses to uh, be essentially remote. The, uh, those courses have been delivered with high quality, and our faculty and our students adapted very well. Uh, this is evidence of the fact that we can continue to be progressive in thinking about how our students are going to learn and learn very quickly. And those students there, Sabrina Roselle, Annabelle Patesco, who you're seeing, that's Annabelle, just amazing students who under any circumstance are going to be successful. Yeah, these students have made tremendous sacrifices their senior year. I want to ask you, uh, President Rosenberg, this week uh, we reported that FIU is going to go ahead with that bridge over the Tamiami Trail. How can you assure the public that this time it will be handled safely after the accident two years ago that saw six lives lost? Well, uh, first of all, we're still mourning the, those who were lost. Uh, we don't, we'll never forget that. We'll never forget Alexa Duran, one of our students who also was lost. Uh, we've listened very carefully to the National Transportation Safety Board. We're, we're working very closely with the uh, Florida uh, Department of Transportation. Uh, we have, uh, working with FDOT, we have a really good plan going forward, and uh, we're going to make sure that it's done right. And I know there, there will be plans to memorialize those victims. Uh, FIU President Mark yep. Rosenberg, thank you very much for joining us. Appreciate it. Thank you.